barriers and other equipment to protect pedestrians could have been installed on London Bridge if police had told transport authorities it was vulnerable to a terrorist attack, an inquest has heard. The security measures could have been put in place within weeks after the Westminster Bridge attack on the 22nd of March 2017, Transport for London's Director of Compliance, Policing and On Street Services, Sewin Hayward, told the Old Bailey on Friday. But the lack of the input from counter-terrorism police meant no action was taken before the London Bridge attack on June 3, 2017. Hayward previously told the inquiry that police had not told TfL of their concerns that the London Bridge could be vulnerable to vehicle attacks by terrorists. Watch who are the victims of the London Bridge attacks. The Independent. When asked if the transport body would have taken action if police had flagged up the threat, Hayward said, absolutely, categorically yes, and added that TfL would have called a meeting with its partners to consider what urgent action should be taken. If a counter-terrorism security advisor, CTSA, had said to us that the London Bridge was the most vulnerable site in the capital we would, in collaboration with the Corporation of London, have moved quickly to take action to mitigate the elements that make that site vulnerable to terrorists, she added. Although permanent security measures would have taken years to install, Hayward said barriers could have been put in place more quickly. Watch, seven police dogs honored for work during London Bridge Attacks Press Association. We have access to a huge range of vehicle restraint barriers, crash barriers, street, furniture, planters, so we would have been able to work on the advice of the CTSA about measures that would have been put in place to reduce the vulnerability of that location, she said. Hayward said TfL did still not have the information it needed to prioritize vulnerable areas. There are still not recommendations coming to us saying, these are the places we need to protect. Hayward insisted that TfL was proactively considering protective security measures in every single project that we have in the pipeline. Watch, London Bridge attacker buys knives, Sky News. But she said, determining which of those crowded spaces should be protected and which remain unprotected is a decision that should be made at a national level in consultation and collaboration with all highways authorities. To the best of my knowledge that determination of the protection of crowded spaces has not yet been made. Kurumba, 27, Rakid Redouan, 30, and Yusuf Zagba, 22, killed 8 people and injured 48 others in the attack. Watch, it does bring up raw emotion, says mother of youngest victim, Sky News. Christine Archibald, 30, from Canada, and Xavier Thomas, 45, from France were killed in the van attack on London Bridge. Alexander Pigyard, 26, Sarah Zelenik, 21, Kirsty Bowden, 28, Sebastine Belanger, 36, James McMullen, 32, and Ignacio Echevria, 39, were stabbed to death minutes later. The inquest continues.